every faculty member is vested in the education of each of the uh, students, residents, and fellows um, to the point where they will work to tailor things for you specifically for your goals. They're unbelievably talented, uh, a multi-generational group with um, varying levels of experience and they've all trained at major institutions around the country. Some of the faculty have helped made uh, the, the transition to becoming a, attending very soon uh, very easy. They've counseled me on life choices as well as career choices. They really do count us as uh, their peers. Um, they don't think of us as uh, underlings or individuals who are here to do scut work. We are really here as one of the the pulmonary physicians, they, they trust us, they, they work at giving us more responsibility, uh, and it's a great atmosphere to be able to learn in. They're the best part of this whole thing, is, is the faculty and the group here. Um, they make it easy to come to work every day, um, and um, it's just been nothing but a pleasure. The culture at Reading Hospital has been uh, wonderful in allowing f uh, the fostering of relationships, uh, allowing uh, the formation of multidisciplinary teams, and allowing uh, fellows to be able to uh, drive a lot of the care for the patients. There's personal relationships with each individual member of the team which allows for a free flow of information to make the best decision possible for patients. One of the things I noticed at Reading Hospital is not only do they care about our education but they really do put uh, an emphasis on making sure that we have um, the best uh, technology that we can have uh, as, uh, as uh, physicians and as fellows. They provide um, dedicated rooms for uh, bronchoscopy and they're equipped to be state-of-the-art um, mini OR theaters uh, with all of the capabilities that would you, you would find at uh, any state-of-the-art cutting-edge um, uh, bronchoscopy suite. We have ECMO, we have advanced navigational bronchoscopy, we have endobronchial ultrasound, we have um, unbelievable facilities really. Um, so there's really no lacking in technology here. This, if it can be done, we can do it. One of the things that is a real benefit in this uh, facility is the opportunity to do multiple types of uh, procedures. Um, uh, there are many of the physicians are well trained in not only just uh, basic diagnostic and therapeutic bronchoscopy, but you will get ample experience here with uh, endobronchial ultrasound and navigational bronchoscopy. Um, you'll have multiple opportunities with varying different physicians to be able to learn different techniques and uh, find ways that you feel more comfortable or find ways that you feel you will continue to use as you uh, move on throughout your career. You will be rotating through hospitals in the surrounding area. You'll be exposed to a very high level medical intensive care unit here with all of the technology you could imagine. Um, the sickest patients of the sick get transferred here and demand complex decisions and multidisciplinary teamwork. We now have um, liver transplants and in fact even recently had the first kidney transplant done here at this facility. Um, it's, it's exciting to be able to be a part of a, a program that is developing those and especially as a pulmonary uh, critical care physician you're going to be able to have the opportunities to treat these patients. I feel confident that my training is um, up to par and being able to perform at the highest level uh, of expectations and I thank all of the folks that contributed to that experience and that confidence uh, that I take to my new job.